In this video, I want to discuss the nerves that can be seen on the brachial plexus. Now, we can see these nerves on our upper extremity models, uh, which uh, most of them can be depicted right here with fairly, fairly good ease. One of the things I want to point out first is the anatomical M seen here. One, two, three. This is a handy way of, of looking at this and trying to understand where we can find these guys. And these, the M is produced by the anterior and posterior cords coming off of the, uh, uh, off of the trunks uh, from the spinal cord. As they emerge down, we will have the musculocutaneous nerve as the lateral part on the lateral side of the M. In the middle, you will have the median nerve. Median nerve takes a long path all the way till it passes underneath the flexor retinaculum. And then the last one of the M is this nerve, the ulnar, as it goes to the ulnar nerve all the way to the elbow, and it will continue on on the medial side. So the more medial then is the ulnar to the old medial side of the arm. Lastly, in this area, we can see the axillary nerve, and this will go in to innervate such as the deltoideus muscle. Now, musculocutaneous, you can see fibers of it running down in here uh, as recurrent fibers would innervate the, uh, uh, innervate the biceps brachii and brachialis seen here. Now, the last nerve that we cannot depict here would be coming deep from the posterior cords as they would run down beneath these, so you can't see it here yet. It would come down and it emerges from underneath the brachialis muscle here and comes on the side of the radius, and this is the radial nerve. And this is all we can see of it on this model, the radial nerve, but in there it does emerge off the posterior cords uh, coming off uh, of the part as it goes in the middle between the medial and lateral cords uh, that produce the, uh, the brachial plexus. And this includes my video on the brachial plexus nerves.